Group Risk Community, welcome once again to another episode of The People's Side of Risk. Today we're sitting with Lebohang Satula. Um, she'll be taking us through her journey, you know, in terms of uh, how she got to where she is in NetBank. And maybe be, just uh, give a bit of advice towards the end to anybody that might be inspired by her story and might want to get into Group Risk um, in a similar role to what she occupies. Lebohang, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mas. It's good mm -hmm. to be here. So Lebohang, please tell us about yourself, right? Um, Lebohang, the person who's Lebohang, um, you know, from your background, and maybe in that you could also just, you know, tell us about your journey, your career, you know, and how you got to where you are in NetBank Group Risk. So yes, Lebohang is a 38-year-old mother of three. Um, I have two girls and a boy. I am the first child of six. I'm the eldest sister. My parents both alive. Born and bred in Soweto, um, but I, I got married to a gentleman from the East Rand, currently res residing in, in the East Rand. My career started in retail where I worked for Edcon back in 2005, then later moved to Microsoft South Africa, then um, Dell Computers, then I found myself in a, what is that, an engineering environment where I worked for Atlas Copco, it was a German company. 2015, Feb, I joined NetBank. When I joined NetBank, I joined as a training coordinator under the Risk Academy in Group Risk. Back then, um, sure, it was it was quite a small, small, small academy. Then we later moved to Group Strategic Risk under Yan, where we started the NetBank Risk Business School. In 2021, I was given an opportunity to move over to CIB, whereas I was employed as a training manager there, responsible for eight resources. Um, then I'm now back home. 2023, 1st of September, that's when I joined Group Risk HR as a senior lead in talent development. Great, such a great story. So obviously you mentioned having left to join CIB, right? That's Are there correct. any specific learnings or insights that you know you got when you were there that you think you've managed to bring back here? And how did you do that? Sure, it's quite a few. I must say CIB is quite a, a dynamic um, environment. You, you get to, to experience a different culture. You get to be exposed to quite a lot. Um, you, you get to understand more of leadership, more of project management. And also when it comes to, to, to your direct reports, you get to understand that people are different and you need to lead them differently. So I, I learned a lot from that space. I got good exposure, um, you know, to, to the CIB business, even though I was in, in corporate shared services. So you must understand that corporate shared services is the spine of, of CIB. Mm -hmm. So under Mary Stocks, there were quite a lot of learnings. And those are the learnings which I find myself bringing back to, to, to Group Risk HR. We did a lot of automation that side. That's when I got to discover that, that there's more that you can do um, with the capacity that you have been given in a day without even having to do the manual stuff. Mm -hmm. So most of the stuff was quite automated that side. But more than anything else, Else, the leadership they lead differently in CIB, and I'm still carrying that with me to this day. Okay, and in your opinion, what makes NetBank such a great place to work? The culture. The culture is different. NetBank is is different in a special way. When I joined NetBank back in 2015, I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even aware that I was pregnant. I was two months pregnant with my daughter. Mm -hmm. But come maternity leave time, you know, I was never treated any different. And over and above that, when I came back, I still qualified for a bursary. Mm -hmm. I came into NetBank without any degree whatsoever mm -hmm. or any, any post-grad qualification. But NetBank has enabled me ever since. So NetBank does have that enabled enabling culture. Great. And is there any piece of advice that you could give to anybody that wants to follow a career path similar to the one that you have followed? Sure, <laughs> definitely. Be curious, be consistent, um, socialize. 
I have learned what I have learned because of the connections that I have made inside and outside of the bank. I have been exposed to coaching. I have been exposed to mentoring. I have been exposed to, to job, job shadowing. Mm -hmm. Most companies, they call it job shadowing, but they don't do it properly. Mm -hmm. You know, I have been um, uh, exposed to talent mobility as well. And I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a great example of that. I was talent which was recognized back then in 2015 and still allowed to go and explore in CIB and come back to Group Risk. Mm -hmm to share those expertise. All right, perfect. Thanks once again, Lebukhang, for taking the time to sit with us. I wish you all the best um, in your career going forward. Thank you, Moses. Great.